Today we're talking the 2024 Ford Ranger in Lariat Sport model with Cactus Gray is our color. Got Ford here today doing some training. They're actually in the room right there training. It is my opportunity to do a little review, walk around for you while that's going on. So look, I am loving the new design. It's, Ford is so great about pushing the envelope, listening to customers and giving us things that we think are usable, practical and improve our everyday benefits. But first of all, I love the new design and update as far as a aesthetics and appearance. You notice up front, the grill kind of like our Super Duty and F-150 now rolls into the headlight. And a Lariat Sport, as you know, is very common. Chrome is kind of uh, diminishing, but it's kind of coming back. I don't know what to say about that. We'll have to, only time will tell. But to me, this has just a very clean uh, look and appearance overall. We have performance LED headlights, just updated with a daytime running light. It is our popular C-shape that Ford made popular back in the day with that 2015 F-150. Just a bold and iconic Ford emblem up front that's been made larger, a little fox skid plate on the front is LED, with the LED fog lights. Definitely, let me know what you think in the comments. The front end looks stronger and more capable and sporty at the same time. Lariat badges on the side with a functional heat extractor now. No heat extractor up top, but so glad that the Cactus Gray, AKA Fighter Jet Gray, Carried over a new chassis as well with now outward shocks in the rear for better overall control and comfort while off-roading or on-road comfort as well. Good look. Rear suspension components do have a leaf pack. And then look, here we go again. Here we go again with outward step on the bedside. So we have a step right here. Not mad about it at all because they didn't copy anybody this time. This is just like Ford's th deal right here and it looks great with that step and that back location because as I'm coming around, if I'm needing to get into the bed, and of course the bed is not as tall as an F-150 or other half, half ton uh, size vehicles. If I'm needing to access that, especially something in the middle area there, I can't quite reach it, but a quick step here and I'm all the way in for whatever you need. Have power on board as well. Those uh, places the right there are not necessarily tie mounts, but they are LED lights, downward facing, looking great. A Ford bed liner is a must. And we have areas here on this upper part. You know, back in the day, they had actual pockets in the, in the bedside. Uh, so I didn't like the looks of that. So they cover that up, but then give you the ability to put above bed options without doing a bed cover there. So a great way to accommodate any accessory that you could need for the Ford Ranger for whatever your uh, activities may be. A bigger embossed Ford emblem out back. Can't wait to dive into those. New tail lights, rear bumper. I mean, everything has been completely changed for the 2024. I love the added black, not so much red in the tails. That looks great as well. Downward facing LED lights as well as camera for overall comfort and control while maneuvering, backing up, etc. Larry Sport, as I mentioned, on the inside is the big improvement to me. Now the prior gen Ranger to me, it uh, kind of left me wanting more. It kind of had that Ford Explorer, Ford Edge feel. I mean, look at this, what a big improvement overall. Full LCD cluster here on the Lariat Sport. A long gated touch screen there. I don't have the key because the instructor has it inside there. But I'm trying to bring you the little instant access, y'all. B&O audio to go along with it. Just the Lariat Ranger for the 2024 just looks more like a Lariat. It looks like more like I would expect from a you know a more comfort, luxury, uh, small, uh, compact truck. Even the steering wheel feels better. Leather wrapped steering wheel controls. Controls still have that Edge Explorer vibe, but I'm not mad about that whatsoever. Everything's right here at your fingertips have kind of the honeycomb effect as far as our our side vents there and even now leather wrapped uh on the dash panels as well as side here i mean uh, other other brands have been bad about putting you know cheaper plasticky components throughout that area and i love this style handle uh, easy access grab that handle open it up ready to roll look at here just a better overall ranger in every facet so impressed overall now 2.7 liter is our powertrain pumping out 315 horsepower 
400 pound feet of torque, especially the Ranger Raptor, y'all. The Ranger Raptor has got me really excited because that may be four performances best yet because of the overall power to weight ratio and smaller compact truck for the type of trails that we have uh, here on the East Coast is more suited for a smaller vehicle. A Raptor has a problem more so than in a smaller truck like, like this would be. So looking forward to diving into that. We're not gonna get many of those, but you know why we is hopefully gonna get to put our hands on those. But just listen, this compact truck now in the Ford Ranger is here to compete now with, with GMC and Chevrolet's variations with uh, the, the popular Tacoma. Let's be honest, Tacoma's kind of been that uh, a staple, that, that one to go after. And I love what they've done with this one. I really can't wait to see how well it does from an everyday drive standpoint and then the off-road uh, capability as well. But definitely the tech and all the uh, features on the inside drive modes are now here. You got still have that pesky start stop, which I'm not a fan of, lock and rear diff, traction control, and you got your uh, perpendicular park there. So let me know what your thoughts are on the inside. Do you like the vertical screen or are you more the you know typical 12 inch or eight inch squared off? Definitely love the center console cluster there. As far as seating, wanna give you a better look at the leather wrapped seats, front and rear. No sunroof on this one. I'm going to jump in the back now also because spacing was an issue to me in the back. And I was very comfortable with my seat in the front, but I am all up on my knees. Like I, I'm not comfortable in the back right here. Um, this seat is slid up slightly more and you can see you, got, you do have slightly more space. And I think I could, I could manage in that, but definitely not for a family vehicle. If you're husband, wife, two kids, three kids, it's got to be F-150. Unless, uh, just depends on your, your specific scenario. But definitely room is limited in the back back here. So that's definitely one thing that um, I'm still trying, trying to wrap my head around. So a, a note, second row leg room, much to be desired there. But you can't make the truck but so long and so big to stay in that capability standpoint that you're trying to achieve. But overall, the powertrain, they got it right. The body style refresh, they got it right. Uh, the package that they're offering is phenomenal. And the Ranger Raptor, I can't wait to dive into that as well. One last walk around for you. Also up here, you've got areas for C-clamps. Let's pop the tailgate. And you can tell tailgate assist. It falls down like money. Forward tailgate assist there. Looking great. And then how easy is it to lift up? Should be easy with the tailgate assist. Oh yeah. Anybody of any age would have no problem lifting that bad boy up. Overall, I'm impressed. The prior Ranger was great. Uh, we still have a good inventory right there of 23. So if you're looking for great pricing overall on our 23s, there they are. But the 2024, Ford Ranger, it's got your boy excited. Can't wait to bring you more on it. Hope you enjoyed this quick one. Peace out.